This is a book I wrote, A Sheep in Wolf's Clothing, The Life of Marie Windsor. The purpose of this book is to relate the rich and accomplished life of Marie Windsor, an actress who added immeasurably to the entertainment industry through her work. In discussing films in which Marie appeared, it has sometimes been necessary to relate the entire plot and include a discussion of the film's ending. However, in cases in which the author believes the reader can get a good idea of the vehicle in which Marie appeared and the contributions she made to it without giving the game away, I have discussed the start of the story but left much out. So readers who have not seen that particular film or TV show will be able to enjoy the surprises it might contain. Although Marie is best known today for her depictions of femme fatale characters in motion pictures usually called femme noir, she played just about every type of character in just about every type of film and television show. She was in many westerns. Uh, and, and then I go on to um, say that in discussing the Westerns, I sometimes use the term American Indian or Indian, since this was the term used in those days. Okay, and it's kind of unwieldy to, um, you know, to not use the term that was used in the film. Okay, uh, I myself... Uh, generally use the term Native American or Indigenous Americans. I want to thank Marie Windsor's son, Rick Hupp, for his cooperation in the writing of this book. Without that cooperation, it's unlikely it would have been written. Okay, now, one of her major films was called The Killing. It was a San Stanley Kubrick film. Now, um, she played, again, a femme fatale type character. Okay, now I'm going to just read this uh, a little bit about that. Part of what makes Marie's performance in The Killing especially strong is that the personality of Sherry is more layered than that of the usual femme fatale. Esteemed critic Roger Ebert described Sherry as a gold-digging floozy, a description not completely wrong, but quite incomplete. Sherry is indisputably nasty in her condescending comments to her husband, George. But there is an undercurrent in Marie's depiction of Sherry that makes her somewhat sympathetic, even a bit pitiful. Sherry feels trapped with George in a bleak existence, lacking both passion and nice things. Sherry's gnawing sense of fr frustration at the limits under which she lives causes her to be caustic toward George. Okay. The way Marie plays Sherry and the way the character is scripted gives the perception that Sherry strikes out verbally at George, not because she's mean in the sense of being cruel, but because she feels that being his wife dooms her to a existence that is mean in the sense of being confined to a mean level of resources. So her t um, playing of Sherry is more complex. And I think that's, you know, an important point to be made that Marie often kind of layered her characters, including her villainesses. And I hope somebody will consider buying a Sheep in Wolf's Clothing, The Life of Marie Windsor by Denise No. Thanks.